Anime.js is a lightweight JavaScript animation library used to make animation on the web. It is popular for its simple and powerful API, which makes creating complex animations as easy as riding a bike. To get started, open a project in your text editor. In my case, I'll use VS Code. Then type npm install animejs2 save to add anime.js to your project. This will create two package.json files and a node modules folder. Now let's create a folder and add an HTML and a JavaScript file. In the HTML file, we will link the anime.minjs file which is located inside the node modules folder, and we will also link index.js. To start, let's create a square. Inside index.js, let's call the anime function and pass in an object. The first thing you'll write inside this object is the element you want to animate, and what's cool about anime.js is that you can target a CSS selector, a DOM node, a node list, an object, or even multiple targets using an array. Then we can use, for example, the translate X property to move the square 300 pixels to the right. To give you more understanding of how to use anime.js, let's see this example. Here we want to make the battery charging animation. So inside the index.js file, select the dev element that will be animated plus the text element that will show the battery percentage. Then create an object with these properties. After that, call the anime function and pass in an object. The target here that will be animated is not the selected HTML elements above, it's this object. Then let's change the object properties here. To make some changes to the selected elements above, we will use the update function. This function allows you to execute custom code at each frame of the animation. So inside this function, we will change the width of the battery to 100% and the value of the text element. Finally, Let's use the easing property and set it to linear and set the duration of the animation to 5 seconds. And there you have it. So this is just an introduction to anime.js. Obviously, you can make some cool ass animations, click effects, and so much more easily without too much effort. For more reference, you have to check the anime.js documentation, which is short, brief, and not boring. And it explains all the features, properties, and functions easily with examples.